Hey guys, in this video series, I'm going to show you and explain on the basic of HTML and CSS. So this is the first video on HTML and CSS series that I'm going to make. And especially in this video, we are going to see the structure of HTML. Right. So before we get into it, you need to download a text editor. So I'm recommending Atom text editor. And this text editor is free and available for most platform right and in this and especially in this video i'm going to use uh mac os so you can follow along with this text editor then the next thing that you have to download is uh google chrome right so chrome is my preferred uh, development browser so you can use any browser that you want but I'm really recommending you guys that you you get Google Chrome or uh, or basically any device that you want to use. All right. So first, download this uh, text editor. I have it ready on my machine. All right. So this is how the text editor looks like. Very simple. And now, what you need to do is, all right. Hold on. Create a new folder in your in anywhere in your machine and just call it basic HTML. All right, basic HTML and CSS. All right, so basic HTML and CSS. So we will call that. So inside here, we will write all our files inside this uh, directory. And if you want to edit it in your text editor, what you have to do is just drag this file to your text editor and will and it will open in the sidebar so now let's create a new file and uh, call our files as index.html right so we have one index.html inside here so inside here actually we can we can name this index.html to to basically to describe any page that we want for example if we have an about page you can call it about page Right. If you have a context page, you can rename it to contact contact or HTML. Right. But the home page that we usually uh, visit is called index HTML. Right. So index HTML is basically like the default uh, the default home page. Right. So we call it index HTML. So every time you create a new new uh, new files in the sidebar here, it will actually be created on the folders that uh, on the folders that stores the files all right so and ignore the ds store this one is only for for mac machine so this thing is nothing like we are not going to use this just ignore that so if we create a new file for example like about.html it will automatically create another files there all right now the next thing that you have to do is open your google chrome and drag this index file to your uh, url you know on top of there right so this is basically the the links that we are going to work with and I will open uh, it side by side right? so inside this index now what you have in HTML we write our code in basically in text all right in text so text we call it text all right so to start the HTML we start with a doc type HTML right hold on for a while right so this thing is the gener generated code all right so if you just type html on on the editor and then you press tab key all right it will automatically generate it for us but we will write it on our own so let's write it uh, we start with a, a bank symbol doc type html so this text is to specify that this file is going to be a HTML file and we start with the HTML tag, HTML tag and every, we call this an opening tag, right, opening tag and we, another one we have a uh, closing tag which is slash, uh, right, front slash HTML so this thing is the opening tag and then this, uh, the closing tag is the same as the opening tag you just put a forward slash in front of it so this is to define the 
to define a tag basically this is the base tag so what we see here is would be inside here and this things to this tag is to specify that we are working with HTML All right. so inside the HTML tag there are basically two tags inside it to to hold the information and and uh, the body of our tag All right. so to hold the information we use we usually uh, set it inside a head tag, right? So every every tag will have an opening and ending tag, so uh, and closing tag. So opening head tag and closing head tag. So opening head, closing head, and then we have body body tag here, and then we also have closing body tag here. All right. So we have opening tag. Closing tag, opening body tag, closing body tag. So in HTML, everything is on tags, all right? So the head tag is used to store all of the information of the current page, and the body tag is the one that we see on the page. Right? For example, on on this tab, we see index.html, right? So we can change the title of this particular document to something like inside here. We usually indent it, all right? We indent by pressing the tab, all right? When you press tab, it will indent. Usually two space or four space, doesn't matter. And you write the title tag. Title, right? And close title, all right? So in HTML, the this thing is called, uh, called opening tag and this one is called the closing tag. And both of these, we call it an element, all right? An element, so title element and inside the title element we usually have uh, the content of the title so for example let's say we want to say hmm, let's see all right how about we say my awesome web page all right you save it once you save it uh, i'm going to use a shortcut here so file save which is in my case, com command S. If you are using on window, it would be control S, if not mistaken. All right. So you save it and then you refresh your browser. So nothing happened. Uh, nothing in the body page, uh, in the body section would, uh, would appear. And the one that is changing is my awesome web page, which is on the tab. So the head part of the HTML will be the one that show all of the inf the one that will set the information on on the current page and the body text is the one that we will see right on this white screen here on this white area here so now let's uh, let me uh, explain in detail on what would be inside the body tag so inside the body tag right we usually have uh, our content there if for example we are writing story we are going to use our heading right heading heading is usually the 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 one that on top of it will usually have heading so my story uh, my story here all right so my story title all right story title so h1 refers to heading tag all right and let me just write this this thing is a comment in HTML so the HTML won't actually run it. This thing is only for, for us to read and to understand our code. So this one is the heading tag. Alright, so this particular part is the heading tag. When I save it, I refresh the browser, you will see this heading tag. This one is the biggest heading tag. Uh, maybe I should say uh, H1, H1 is the biggest heading tag all right when i save it h1 is the biggest heading tag and now i can create another one called h2 all right h2 is another heading tag which is a bit smaller than h1 h2 is uh, smaller than than h1 all right and then i save it uh, i refresh it and then you will see this so we have six type of heading tag and all of this is 
which is uh, normal like h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 is only representational views right so h1 is for the the biggest heading tag and h6 the most smallest and less meaningful right but this the different view in this is that h1 is more is more important than h2 right so it's uh, important for the search engine when we have published our site later on so to make it easier for you guys if you guys type h3 right and then you press the tab uh, tab key on your keyboard it will automatically expand the tag for us and we can write our own content right there so h3 is smaller than h2 right and then you write h4 tab h4 is smaller than h3 all right once you save it you can refresh it and as we can see here all of this is on uh on i mean all of this text is within the heading tag heading one heading two three and four all right so that's the heading tag and you guys might wonder what happened if we write uh maybe a text uh without any text or without any text right so for example here i am a sentence outside a tag so basically this thing is just a sentence without a tag right so i save it i refresh it as you can see here it looks uh it looks just fine right it's nothing uh it appear on the page so there's nothing wrong with it but we usually if you want to specify like a paragraph or a sentence you uh, you will basically use the paragraph tag which is p in this case so you specify i am a sentence outside the tag you save it and then you refresh it it, it will look uh, it will look the same right nothing different and the only the only thing that we have uh, the reason why we have to put p tags is that it will be a consistent within our page and uh, for example if you have published your web application or web page or website on uh, on online right I mean like so that everyone can see then a search engine will be able to basically read your content easily so here is the is the paragraph tag when I type lorem and tab it will automatically give me uh, a sentence uh, a dummy sentence basically right when see this one's heading tag and and please note that if you add space right a space in the HTML tag basically you add space there space there and right there you won't uh, see it won't change the present uh, it won't change anything on on the browser right when I refresh this it will look the same so spaces here doesn't change anything it's just for us so that we can uh, structure our code better so for example is after the h2 i can write a p tag there and then dummy tags here i copy paste the two paragraphs you can have one paragraph and then the subheading tag uh, another paragraph and then another subheading tag let's see i have here paragraph so as we can see here we have very because uh, the biggest heading tag right the biggest heading tag and subheading subheading tag and here let's see sub subheading tag and last one sub sub subheading tag all right so we have here as we can see here this is basically how it looks like on the browser and this things how it likes on the codes so the biggest heading tag with a paragraph, a uh, subheading tag with two paragraph, the first paragraph and second paragraph, the third subheading tag, the and then this one is the uh, paragraph tag and paragraph tag. So this is how it looks like uh, on the browser, and this things the one that how we could uh, we code it on on our code editor. So and one very useful. Uh, useful tools or extension on chrome is that we can see uh, we can preview this on we can preview the actual code of this uh, of this page so you right click on the on any page right on on the current page and then view page source right if you view that you will basically 
see this part, okay, the the raw part of the of the HTML, right? I will divide it into two sections again. So as we can see, uh, this thing is very identical, right? We have the doc type HTML which is stated there. We have the my awesome, uh, my awesome web page which is the title that we see on top here, and then in that's inside the head head tag, and inside the body tag we have all of the heading. Subheading, uh, subheading tag and sub subheading tag, right? Which is the same as we have written just now. So this is the basic structure of, uh, of HTML, and right. So I hope you guys can understand on on like the this basic syntax, right? So we have the HTML tag as the root tag, and then inside the HTML we have two tags, which is head and body tag. And please note that everything that you see within this page, right, should be inside the body tag, right? And so if you want to write any other text later on, just write it inside this. Okay. So hopefully you guys understand on on this uh, on the struct on this video uh, about this. Hopefully you guys understand on uh, this first section of this video, which is the HTML structure and. On the next video, we are going to learn more on some useful, uh, not really useful, yeah, it's very useful, a useful text for HTML, which is uh, heading and paragraph text, making it bold, italic, emphasize, emphasis, uh, structural, and semantic markup, all right? So if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, let's check my other video and hopefully you like it. And see you guys on the next video. Bye.